What's up guys and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you a simple image processing technique using the layer and the lambda function that we have created in the previous tutorial. So you can find the link of the previous tutorial in the video description below. Okay. So moving along. So here we are going to simply convert the color image into a grayscale image. right? So the image that you are seeing on my screen, uh, basically it's an uh, object scene, right? So we are going to convert this image into a grayscale image, right? So here we are going to write some code in the uh, lambda function that we have created in the previous tutorial, right? So I will jump to the lambda management console and from there uh, I will jump to the opencv lambda function that we have created in the previous tutorial, right? So uh, before uh, writing some code here, uh, I will quickly jump to the S3 management console, right? Just to check that if I have this image in an S3 bucket or not. So I believe uh, we have used this image in the recognition tutorial, right? So yeah, uh, I have this image. So we are going to use the same image. So in case uh, if you don't have, uh, just go ahead and upload any uh, color image, right? So yeah, uh, coming back to the opencv lambda function, right? And as you can see, we have already uh, attached the layers here with this lambda function uh, for opencv library, right? So yeah, uh, let's get started uh, by writing some code, right? So we need uh, opencv, I mean cv2. Apart from that, we will require numpy as np and obviously uh, we will require boto3 right since we are going to deal with the images uh, that is placed in the s3 bucket right so we will require boto3 to uh, read the image or to upload back the grayscale image right or to write back that image in an s3 bucket so we will write the output or the outcome uh, in the s3 bucket right in the same bucket that is this one that is recognit okay so yeah so we'll start with defining the s3 bucket object that is s3 equal to boto3 dot client followed by the service name that is s3 right and then defining a file object equal to s3 dot get underscore object so uh, this thing so here we are going to read the file from the s3 bucket right so these things i have covered in the previous tutorials right so previous tutorial when i say uh, i did a specific tutorial on reading a file from s3 bucket then writing a file on s3 bucket right so you can uh, refer that tutorial so yeah get object followed by bucket equal to recognit in my case and the key which is the file name right that is obj underscore scene dot jpg right and then we are going to read the file content this file object of body dot read so if you have uh, referred my previous tutorial then here at uh, at line 10 uh, after read uh, we were using the method called decode and followed by the utf8 right so here we are not going to use this here we are not going to decode the response because here since we are dealing with the image data right we need that data in the bytes format right so this is uh, one of the way to uh, read file from s3 the another way uh, we can follow is that we can directly download the file in the tam directory and we can use this right but in this tutorial uh, we are going to follow this method we are going to read image in the form of bytes data right so yeah going along and it is np underscore array equal to np dot from string followed by the file content and followed by the image data type or the data type np dot u and 
you int 8 is basically an unsigned integer of 8 bit right so uh, what is uh, np dot from string so here we are using this uh, function from numpy package to create the one dimensional array from the image bytes data right so we will get the bytes data in the file content and np dot from string will return as the one dimensional array right consisting uh, the value between 0 to 255 right each of the value in an array right so np dot uh, u int 8 that is basically a uh, unsigned 8 bit integer right and that is basically uh, the range of the pixel right so as i said each and every value will be between 0 to 255 right so that's the range of the pixel itself so moving along now uh, once we have the numpy array we need to uh, decode that right so for decode we will use image underscore np equal to so there is a method called im decode that is nothing but the image decode right followed by the our numpy array one dimensional numpy array and the another parameter which is the type of the loaded image so that will be cv2 dot im read underscore color yeah so so the first parameter is basically a one dimensional numpy array so what im decode does is it reads an image uh, from the buffer in memory right so basically the uh, input type can be an input array or the vector of bytes right so here in our case we have an input array right so that that is what we are passing here and the second parameter is a basically a flag that specify the color type of the loaded image right so in our case it's it's rgb right it's, it's mean the uh, color image right so that's the reason we are using cv2 dot im read underscore color flag yeah so moving along now we, we we have this image right so ideally for reading an image we generally use the im read method right that is cv2 dot im read method right so since uh, here we are dealing with the image bytes data so that's the reason uh, we are performing extra two steps right so in case if we have that image save in the temp directory so uh, we might have have end up using this im read method right instead of doing this uh, np dot from string and then uh, decoding right so yeah so moving along now the another step which is now we are going to convert this uh, rgb or the color image into a grayscale image right so we'll say gray equal to cv2 dot so there is a uh, method to convert the image or the convert the color of the image right that is cvt color right so the first parameter is of course image underscore np right and the second parameter is going to be uh, what what we have and what we want it to convert right i mean what we want that image to convert to right so it's basically cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray right so uh, one thing to note here is by default open cv2 or the cv2 package read images in the form of uh, bgr right in bg in the form of uh, or in the sequence of bgr channel that is blue green red right but by default uh, all the images uh, are in the form of rgb right so so since uh, it's an bgr format that's the reason we are writing here bgr in the form of rgb right so opencv works reverse than usual right in terms of reading then rgb image right so here what we want to achieve is we want to convert bgr or the blue green red image or the color image to a grayscale image right so that's the reason we are passing this flag now uh, here we have successfully converted this image into a grayscale image or the color image to a grayscale image now uh, we want to save this image right so we will use an opencv2 method that is cv2.im write 
so here in lambda function uh, it provides the tamp directory to write anything right so we can only write in that uh, tamp folder or the tamp directory right so we will specify the path here that is forward slash tamp we will say gray underscore object dot jpg followed by the image parameter or the gray right in our case so this will successfully write the uh, grayscale image in the time directory right uh, with the file name is gray underscore object now we want to uh, upload this image uh, to an s3 bucket so in my case it's the recognit bucket right so here uh, uh, the uploading thing or the writing an image to an S3 bucket uh, we can achieve this in two ways right so one way uh, we can follow is uh, we can write the bytes data to an S3 bucket right so as we did uh, while reading the image from the S3 bucket or the another is uh, I'll just show you The another way is to uh, directly upload that file to an uh, S3 bucket, right? So this repo is basically uh, the code repo. So whatever tutorials I do, uh, I post the or I upload the code here, right? So here it is lambda write file S3 trigger, right? So here as you can see, uh, we have defined a resource for Boto3, right? and we are using an upload file method right so here we are just giving a part to a file so as you can see in the temp directory and we are simply uploading it to a s3 bucket the another way around to do is uh, we can write the bytes data uh, to an s3 bucket right so we are going to use that another method right so in that case uh, we will not require the resource so we will uh, we will be able to perform that using the client itself right so this was one of the method and I will show you the another method right so of course we are going to use an s3 object that is s3 dot put underscore object object right followed by the bucket name to recognize followed by the key so that is nothing but the file name in so it's the file name uh, with which the file will be uploaded right so for example if i specify xyz.jpg so the file will be stored as xyz.jpg in an s3 bucket right so it's the name of the file that we want to uh, see in an s3 bucket right so i will say uh, grayscale.jpg for example right oops jpg and followed by the third parameter that is body right so body generally accepts uh, two kind of parameters one is string type and another is bytes type right so here uh, we are going to pass the bytes type right so what we will do here is uh, we will say open and we are going to open that image that we have stored in the temp directory so temp gray underscore object dot jpg jpg right and we are going to open that file in the read rb mode right and we will say dot read right so this will uh, open the file in an uh, binary mode or the bytes mode right and we are going to stream the bytes data from here right so yeah uh, so we are done here with the code part so I'm going to quickly save this. So if you remember then in the previous tutorial, uh, while creating this lambda function, we have created the service role, right? That is this one. So if you remember then, uh, we have only assigned the uh, read permission to an S3 bucket, right? So since uh, we are also writing the data to an S3 bucket, we need to assign the write permission to this IAM role, right? So what we will do is uh, we will quickly jump to the IAM management console right and assign that permission. So we will jump to roles 
and here is our role right lambda layer open cv has three so here we are going to attach the policy and we will say So it's taking some time. So here we will say S3 and we'll say S3 full access, right? We will say attach policy. So we have successfully uh, added rights or attached the policy for the right access, right? Now that lambda function will be able to write that outcome or the grayscale image to an S3 bucket, right? So as you can see, right now we don't have any uh, image or the grayscale image, only two files here. So now we are going to uh, run this lambda function. So let's run this and see. So it ran successfully, right? So let's go ahead and check in the s3 bucket so we are going to reload this and as you can see the uh, grayscale.jpg image has been successfully written or uploaded into this s3 bucket right so now i'm going to download this image and let's have a look So as you can see, uh, we have successfully converted the uh, color image to a grayscale image using the image processing technique uh, with the help of uh, OpenCV package, right? And also with the help of Lambda layers and a Lambda function that we have created in the previous tutorial, right? So yeah, uh, well that's it for now. So as usual, if you want me to do the tutorial on any specific service or use case you have, then please leave them in comment. I will try my best to come up with the tutorial for the same. And if you have any queries or comments, then please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.